Hey guys, <laughs> so it is Wednesday. Um, I uploaded the first part of this like <clears throat> vertical sleeve story-ish thing that I wanted to do. Um, and it was super long. I didn't realize I was talking that long. So I'm pretty sure that we ended on day of surgery, me basically getting out of surgery. So I just wanted to um, continue on from there. Um, so I woke up from surgery. I think I mentioned I started crying. I don't know why. Um, they brought me to the room. My mom and Star was there. Um, and I was in pain, but I wasn't like, it wasn't unbearable. And, um, you know, they gave me like pain meds through my IV and everything. Um, so I wouldn't say it was unbearable, but what I will say to be completely honest was that the gas pain was really bad. Um, so when they say like walk, 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 they're not joking. Like it's not just a myth or something that they say to keep you healthy or whatever. Like the gas pain suck. You, you do got to walk, but it's, it's nothing like that you know, you can't get through. Um, the one thing that really bothered me, to be honest, and I know everyone is different, but um, was drinking water. Fluids in general, but for some reason water. Um, the first couple of days, it hurt so bad for me to drink water. And I'm assuming that was the gas. I don't really know. When people would say gas pain or pain, I, I didn't really understand the difference just trying to go um but I kind of think I know now and I kind of think uh the whole I know I keep messing with my hair I'm sorry I think the whole reason like the water <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna try to finish this video um I didn't get to finish it yesterday when I was driving so it's literally like eight o'clock in the morning I don't know why I'm up I keep trying to sleep in <clears throat> but for whatever reason I can't so I'm just sitting in bed and I thought I would um finish this video so I was talking about the water and the gas pain um I think the reason that I was having so much trouble drinking water is because of the gas pain um so the first two days in the hospital honestly they were, I don't want to say they were miserable, but like drinking water was so hard and they would come in and like, come on, you need to be drinking, you need to be drinking. And that, I couldn't, I wasn't even close to drinking what I should. Um, the first day I literally <clears throat> only had water <coughs> and popsicles. Um, the second day my friend, uh, the girl's mom came and she kept talking about how good their chicken broth was and so um she talked me into getting it and i got it and it actually was really good um and i didn't get it because i didn't think it was good i got it because it was hard to drink the water but the broth was actually a lot easier to drink and didn't hurt as bad um maybe because it was warm i'm not sure uh <clears throat> but yeah in the hospital i mean i basically I was in there I was on fluids until the third day so I had surgery on Thursday spent the night Friday night Saturday I was supposed to be able to go home but I wasn't getting enough fluids in so I spent the night Saturday night too and I was on the IV until Sunday like Sunday morning and then it was like Sunday afternoon probably that I went home like maybe like two or three or something um, so yeah, they just want you to drink constantly when you're in the hospital in and now, um, and they, they come in the room all the time and take your vitals and everything. Oh, I'm just trying to think, um, on, so surgery is on Thursday. So on Friday, uh, my friend Jessica came and seen me and I was doing fine. I... Um, walked the hallway with her a little like it was probably like an hour before this happened though um and then I'd been sitting in the chair for like an hour you know I hadn't like 
done anything. Star had just left to go take the dogs out. And I started feeling like super hot, like, and not my body, but like my face was so hot and it was red. Like she was like, Elise, are you okay? Like your face is so red. And I was like, I feel like, I feel like it. And she's like, all of a sudden you just like switch. Like you look like you're going to pass out. You're, you look super tired. And I was like, I kind of feel different. So the nurses came in and they checked my blood sugar and it was 72. And so they said that like, that was really low for me. And they said, since my blood sugars had been running a lot higher, like I wasn't diabetic and they weren't like super high, but in the hospital they were higher. And she said, since they were like that, and then it dropped to 72, that my body was just having a hard time like adapting to that change that it was like such a change so she made me drink tomato juice and milk and it um eventually went up a little bit um that's honestly the only time that it was like kind of scary in the hospital I guess um I have to take a drink of water I'm sorry like I I'm not thirsty and I hate constantly sipping but my mouth is so dry okay and it wasn't like super scary but I mean it kind of was I don't know um so yeah I don't I don't really know what to say else about the hospital I mean that's literally I sat there they wanted me to drink fluids constantly I was on the IV um I had to walk a lot so I would you know like take the IV and like walk the halls uh I did bring like my own like nightgown pajamas and my own slippers and I just walked the halls in those um Star was there basically the whole time like she spent the night both nights um she left you know once in a while to like let the dogs out and shower and stuff um my mom came the night, like she spent the night the night before and then she was there that day and then she left and then I had three friends come visit and that was it. Uh, I'm trying to think. Okay, so that's really all I can say for hospital. Um, once I got home... Um, I still was taking my pain pills once in a while, not a ton, but once in a while. I think at home, the thing for me is that, like, I'm not, like, someone to just sit for, like, hours upon hours and watch TV, so I just have been getting so bored, and so then I'll go do something, and that wears me out really bad. Like, the other day, I went to Target to get popsicles, um, because they had, like, a different flavor than all the other, like, stores around here. Um, so I walked around Target, I looked at the clothes, the makeup, um, got the popsicles, and by the time I was done and checking out, I was wore out. Um, and I haven't, I haven't had any, up until yesterday, I really hadn't got any protein in at all because just the thought of, like, drinking a protein drink, I'm itching my belly, my, like, the incisions, it's really bad. Um, the thought of drinking a protein drink is just... Ugh. Um, I'm gonna try one today though. Okay, so some of the questions. Um, I don't have many questions, but one person asked me about soda and said that they like drink Diet Pepper. I think it was Diet Pepper. Dr. Pepper all the time. So, yes, girl. I was a Coke addict. Coca Cola. Um, I legit drink soda all the time. Again, I'm gonna keep everything real. Um, I am sure there were days upon days, like, before I started this process, that I never had water. Like, I probably would get up, go to McDonald's, get breakfast for work, get a Coke with it, at lunch get a Coke, at home, like, have soda here, and drink Coke all the time. Like, literally. I mean, I, I love soda. Like, Coke is my number one, Mountain Dew number two, love it. And honestly, I liked, I liked drinking soda so much that anytime I would like have a meal or go out to eat, it would ruin it 
or piss me off if I couldn't have soda with it. Like, legit. Like, do not let me go to, like, a Mexican restaurant and they not have, like, soda. I would be so mad. Or there's this one, like, <clears throat> Chinese uh, restaurant here that I love. It's super good, but they don't have, like, fountain drinks. So you know it's expensive to drink a can, and when I eat, I would drink a lot. I would just go buy like a 44 ounce Coke and bring it to the restaurant. That's how much I love soda. Um, so with that being said, um, on my pre-op diet, it was really hard not to drink soda. Um, and I did cheat a couple times, and I, I did drink it. So I literally drink it up until, you know, a couple days before surgery. Uh, now, obviously, I haven't had it, and to be honest, I haven't really <clears throat> thought about it, but I think that's just because I know that I can't have it. Like, I cannot have soda right now. I hear that you can get, like, extremely sick if you do. Um, but, on the other hand, to be honest, I haven't had food either, so, like, I haven't, like, had that time to, like, Oh, I'm eating I want to drink soda hasn't happened yet but I mean I would love a nice you know coca-cola fountain drink but I just I just know that I can't but literally that hasn't bothered me as much um I can't look at the comments because they're on my phone I'm not sure what else she said I know she said that um, as far as like oh and then somebody asked like did, was there, like, a big production, like, girl, if you're watching, you know who I'm talking about. So, about meeting the doctor and stuff. So, my first appointment was with the um, bariatric nurse, and she is the one that I went over everything. She told me all the details, and she told me the different surgeries that were my option, and I think that's what you're talking about. Um... It was just me and her in the room, um, and she said, like, even if you know for sure what you want to have, like, I have to uh, go over this with you. So that was my appointment with her, and then my next appointment that I had was with the actual surgeon. Um, I, was, I feel so bad, I forget what else you asked. Um... Let me look. I'm going to pause this and look. Okay. So I just went and looked at the questions. Um, one of them that I forgot was once I start eating food, how do I think I'll do portion wise? <laughs> I'm terrified. I'm literally terrified. I'm terrified of like, obviously I'm an addict. I'm a food addict. It's just the truth. Um, okay. So for one, I'm terrified because I haven't felt full this whole week. Um, I've only been having liquids. I haven't had that, like, full feeling, like, oh, I'm so full, I need to stop. And people say you have that. <clears throat> On the other hand, people say that you have that more when you start eating foods. So right now, I haven't had it, and I feel like, what if my stomach really isn't small? Or what if, like, I never get the full feeling? So I'm terrified. It freaks me out, to be honest. Um, I'm scared of just going back to my old ways and overeating. Like, I pray, honestly, fingers crossed, that when I start eating, I get full really quick and I stop. I can control myself. So, to be honest, I'm not super confident about it. Um, I'm really scared. Uh, I'm on the liquid diet for one more week and then I start puree. I cannot tell you how excited I am to have food in my mouth. Um, but yeah, I'm really nervous and I don't know how it's going to go. So pray for me. Okay, the other person asked, um, how much weight have I lost? So I know that I, my whole thing is I want to be honest with you guys, but I just don't, I just don't feel comfortable like telling my weight. That's the one thing I really don't feel comfortable with. But I will say, when I first started this process, um, I'm just going to tell you how much I've lost. Um, when I first started the process, I went to the doctor in January. That was my first 
appointment <clears throat> till yesterday at my post-op appointment my total that I've lost is 54 pounds and I think I've lost I think 13 of that um has been from since surgery so I think I've lost or I know I've lost 54 total and I think 13 has been since surgery which was a week ago which I'm kind of like bummed about because I thought being so big I would lose more the first week but I know you're not supposed to like compare or think that or whatever but it just sucks I feel like I feel like if I hadn't had the surgery and I was like still like pre-op and I didn't eat anything for a week I feel like I'd lose way more so it's kind of confusing but people say you have a lot of swelling and this and that so I don't know um but yeah 54 pounds total and like I said the first couple months I wasn't trying so really the 54 pounds was probably in the last like four months I'd say but yeah I mean to me that's like a big accomplishment I truly truly though people like at work and stuff would be like oh like you look so good I can tell you like lost weight I couldn't tell at all the only thing is like recently I've been trying on like some shirts that used to be really like snug and now they're not so I'm getting excited and I can tell in that way um like I had this one t-shirt that I bought a couple of years ago um and when I I got it at like a like farmer's market so I couldn't really return it um but when I got home and tried it on it was like way too small and um I tried it on the other day and it fit like a normal t-shirt so I was so excited um but yeah I think those are all the questions I think I only got like two people responded but yeah so as far as uh post-op I've really just been at home chilling um I haven't been trying to do too much but I still have been like getting out and doing stuff I just have to like sit down and chill after I do like an activity I get wore out really quick um oh somebody asked how long I'm taking off work I think I'm gonna take off two weeks like I think I'm gonna take off next week like all of next week and then go back on that Monday so two weeks so I had surgery on Thursday I was off on Friday and then this week and next week I think um she said I could take more than that if I wanted to but I have to take like minimum is like two weeks so yeah but yeah there's not really a lot to say at home like the last week I've literally just been here chilling I went to the store and like went a couple places um and I just literally just been trying to drink water it sucks I think about food constantly if you're curious about that I do um those like cravings and thoughts and wanting food it's all in your head I I know that like I'm fine but I think about macaroni and cheese and pizza and hamburgers and all the time like food is on my mind all the time so you know some people say they have the surgery and they don't think about food anymore I do of course um so yeah and I've had like broth um popsicles water that's really it haven't really been like starving but I've never felt full and I do think about food um so that is it for now um if you guys have any more questions just keep you know posting them and I will answer them no problem um you know nothing is like too personal if I don't want to answer it I won't but I'm pretty open except about my weight um so yeah, I love you guys and I will talk to you later.